How's it going guys? Thomas Draven here, back again for another video. I haven't uploaded in like two months, um, but I decided to hop back on it because I have some new guitars that I need to demo and review, and um, I've been doing some cool stuff with mods lately, so I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to. Um, today we're going to be looking at an SBK guitar, and I'll show it to you guys in a moment. Um, the reason why it's not necessarily a real review or demo is because I bought it secondhand uh, from Guitar Center, um, just as an impulsive decision. And uh, originally I thought it was pretty much stock, but then the more I read into the um, the brand or the you know the specs of the instrument I realized that it was anything but so it wouldn't really make sense for me to review a guitar that one I'm pretty certain is discontinued and two has been modded to all hell um, yeah I think also part of it too is that it is an SBK Les Paul style guitar so it's not really anything too crazy um, I guess I will just go ahead and show it to you now um, with the way it currently looks because it's already been modified, but this is an SVK Les Paul style guitar. Um, I don't know the exact model name because information on these guitars is kind of limited, um, but my understanding, uh, to the best of my knowledge, is that they were a brief series of Les Paul copy guitars made by one of the former uh, custom shop builders for Ibanez. So they were sort of capturing some of the, um, sort of the essence of some of the like lawsuit era Ibanez Les Paul copies. And again, it's it's really not much to talk about in terms of, you know, it, it's a Les Paul, it, it's a Les Paul. I will say that the ones that I've seen online, um, it appears that after a while, uh, the big G kind of caught on to um, what SVK was doing, and so there's uh, the SVK LP style shape, the single cut shape, no longer looks like this, like a Les Paul. Um, it's a bit more boxy, and the upper horn is a bit more pronounced. But uh, I'm assuming that means that this is one of the older SVK models, and it is, for all intents and purposes, a Les Paul through and through, but it plays kind of more like an Ibanez because the neck is nice and thin and just a yeah, very kind of shreddy feel on the neck. Um, mods that were present when I bought it, it already had some locking tuners, which is super nice. Um, I'm not sure if the nut is original because it looks like a strikingly different color than the binding, so it might have been upgraded and I can't really speak on it um, and it also came with a roller bridge which I thought was super cool um, and then originally again it had the traditional Les Paul wiring with the switch up here and the two volumes two tones um, and again I sort of was going to review that guitar um, just for the sake of showing it off in its stock form before I modded it but obviously uh, initially I thought it was just the tuners and the bridge that were swapped out, but no, the entire thing had been upgraded. There were some Fleur something pickups, um, basically some like cheap-ish 30 to $50 replacement humbuckers that you could find on eBay or Amazon. Nothing special there, um, but the wiring, the Les Paul wiring was swapped out with an Obsidian wire Les Paul um, harness. And this is a, I've never had an obsidian wire harness before, but it is a really high quality piece of kit. I mean, one of these wiring harnesses is about $110 from obsidian. Um, but I'm not really huge into the traditional Les Paul sort of control layout. I think it's a bit convoluted. Um, so I took it out and I might, you know, part that out separately because I'm sure somebody could use a really nice wiring harness like that. I think it's really cool. Um, but in regards to the mods that I have done to this guitar, I moved the switch because I hate it being up here, especially when I'm playing live, the guitar sits kind of low on my body, so I end up 
smacking it all the time, and it's just not <laughs> not optimal for me. Uh, so I used a plastic plug that I got on Amazon to plug that up. Same with down here. Um, single volume. Uh, kill switch, which is a lot of fun. Move the switch down here, so it's nice and out of my way. And then for the pickups, is a custom set of Guitar Marie Atlas pickups. So for anybody that isn't familiar with Guitar Marie, they are a custom pickup builder. Um, the owner of Guitar Marie, Michael, is a really cool guy, always super fun to talk to, and always does his best to try and hook you up. Um, Again, just really cool dude, and I kind of had an idea, or well, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to put in this Les Paul. Um, I was thinking probably either DiMarzio Titans or something like that, just something hot and familiar. You know, I mean, I've, I've used the um, DiMarzio Titans before in a few guitars, and I really like those, but um, I was kind of messing with the idea of doing a humbucker in the bridge, P90 in the neck, because that's something that I have been wanting to try. I know that Lee Malia of Bring Me the Horizon does that in his signature guitars, which I think is cool. Um, but yeah, I've, I've never experimented too much with P90s. Um, I had one in the Jared James Nichols Epiphone that I used to have. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my limited exposure to them, other than like a DIY kit I built five, six years ago. Yeah, long time ago. Um, but yeah, um, I wanted to experiment with the pickup combo and I asked for some recommendations and Michael chimed in that we could do a custom set of the Atlas pickups with the uh, P90 neck pickup sort of wound to be EQ and output appropriate. Um, and so I said, let's do it. Let's get some sort of battle scarred looking uh, covers on there because uh, it is a bit relic as you can see. So yeah, I'm just super stoked with these pickups. They sound incredible. Um, I did do a demo track um, with the guitar, with the old parts in it, um, with the original, well, not original, but the um, aftermarket pickups, the cheap ones, um, and the old wiring before I cracked it open and installed the new wiring. So that's probably at the beginning of this video. And um, then we'll do sort of the same demo track, but with this guitar, with the new pickups, so you guys can hear how it sounds. Thank you. 